Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to be hanging out with Sora and tell you a little bit of how she acts, what she does, and how it's been traveling with a cat. I mean, a Bengal kitty to be exact. So Bengal kitties are very, very active and very attention seeking. Our little Miss Sora is just the same. She loves her treats. Yeah. And her schmackums, which is another treat that we give her. But being with her has been really nice on all of our trips. Um, she hasn't went on any outdoor adventures with us. We have taken her outside. We have not taken her on the long treks yet. But that's something that we're working up to and trying to train for. So I did find a course online about adventure kitties. And I have been taking the course trying to train Sora. And I've actually taught her a couple tricks. If y'all would like to see, we'll demonstrate. Hey, Miss Sora, let's do some tricks. Sit. Good girl. High five. High five. Yeah. go. These are just a few tricks that I have taught Sora. We are working on some others, but they're not perfected yet. Um, good thing about teaching a cat tricks is positive incentives. She understands that the clicker, when it goes off, means that she's going to get a treat. Well, now you got to give her one because you just clicked it. I know I am because she's happily waiting. But unfortunate for Sora, having her in a small confined space isn't always easy. She is an active cat again. So she likes to be moving. She loves jumping. She loves climbing. And so we have to be careful with that. So one negative about her crawling all over our camper is that she has shredded most of our leather furniture inside. So right here in particular is one of her favorite places to perch and to climb. And as you can see, it is the leather is completely damaged. So one thing I know for sure about Flora is if there is food, she is in it. So anytime that I try to cook, Little Miss Sora is right here and amongst it all. And most of the time when this happens, I then have to take Miss Sora and I have to relocate her so that I can get dinner cooked. Is that right, baby? And that is what we have to do with the entire time that Shelby is cooking or anytime we have to throw her in the bathroom to keep her away from or out of what we're doing, she howls endlessly. My point. So Miss Sorbeam, she has her own little drawer here in our trailer. In here is most of her treats, toys, incentives, harness, and her onesie. Little Miss Sora doesn't sleep well at night and she gets rambunctious and crazy. So we have a onesie that she sleeps in and it calms her down. So back to her harness. Miss Sora is not happy about harnesses or her onesie. So usually if we can get her in it and she cooperates, we give her a treat. So it's a positive incentive. So most of the time she won't fight us when we try to put it on. Miss Sora, come here. I'm gonna put her in her onesie and then we'll give her a treat. And then we're gonna try to take her outside. Don't run. Here. It's okay. It's okay. Sora. It's okay, baby. Sometimes it is a struggle because she doesn't want to be confined. 
Once you get it in the honor, she acts pretty decent. There we go. Hey, come get your treaty. Thank you for letting me put that on you. So one thing with adventure kitties, you have to learn, you have to take it at their pace, not yours. So we're just going to do what Sora wants to do out there and then try to make sure that she doesn't freak out because sometimes noises can scare her. All right, baby. Ready to go outside? So I always bring treats with us when we take Sora outside. Just in case if I need to, I can coax her back. Now for the most part, Miss Sora, she likes to just walk around nicely, sniff at the grass. Sometimes she'll lay in it. It's just her getting familiar and comfortable. Sora likes outside and adventures. Usually when we have her inside, we'll open up one of the windows and she'll sit in the window and just perch and watch. Good girl. Now, usually when she starts yanking on her leash, getting a little wild, that's when we normally call it a day and take her inside. Hey baby. That's enough adventure for one afternoon. Did you have fun? And then usually when I take her inside, I give her some treats just for positive incentive again, so that she likes coming outside and that she's okay with having her harness on. Go in, baby. So, while traveling with a cat can be a colossal pain in the ass sometimes, and also can be very rewarding. It's always nice when we come back from a long day to have Sora here to greet us. Usually she gives us little boops. Not right now though. <laughs> no, right now it's paws. So one of the things that I forgot to mention is uh, her doozies. This cat will climb in her litter box and take a massive one and literally in not even a minute the entire trailer stinks. So something to think about if you're going to travel with a cat you better be ready with the air freshener. So, if you're gonna travel with a cat, just know it's a lot of work. It's not always easy. But it's definitely worth it. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see all y'all in the next video.